are they just anomalies or are they i mean they, when we talk about global warming is is this what we're talking about is this how we how it manifests itself yeah essentially so one thing that we really do have to be careful of is there is a difference between weather and climate now weather are these short-term events that can happen and can change over minutes hours days you know um, whereas climate is that longer term average, which is years, decades, centuries, and it's sort of a longer term average of the weather on the whole. So, of course, weather extremes have always existed since the dawn of time. But what the key thing we've got to take away is the intensity and frequency of these extremes are definitely becoming more and more of a thing. And that is almost certainly down to human induced climate change. There's some absolutely harrowing scenes, particularly across Southeast Europe of these yeah. horrific wildfires and climate change isn't just looking at you know more heat extremes it's extremes from all senses all different angles you know we're still going to see those cold extremes and i think that's something really quite interesting that people do forget as well um that we we can still see swings from all angles you know we're still going to see some cold summers we're still going to see some very snowy winters um but the frequency of them will tend to reduce and we are seeing a greater frequency of these hot and you know these these heat extremes these wildfires even droughts heat waves you know from all angles extreme rainfall in some parts as well yes extreme i was going to say extreme rain so people i mean people have got to kind of build this in this expectation of this climate change affecting them literally on the ground. We've all got to, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people see climate change as something airy fairy that's, that's discussed at government levels and that's it. But it is going to affect each and every one of us. Definitely. And it's, it's going to affect us all at different scales, at different rates and in different ways. And I think that's one big takeaway as well, that climate change doesn't affect us all in the same rate. You know, places like the Arctic are warming twice as fast as some other parts in the world. So that scale of that rate of change is going to be different. So we might not see that change from a day to day basis. But when you look at that overall trend, it is definitely there. So uh, 